I'm going to make hamburger stroganoff. Very easy, economical, it stretches. How do I know? I've been married 36 years, seven children, 16 grandchildren. And this is one of our favorites. It's so easy to make. And now as the weather's getting cooler, you want something that you can do quick, that's hearty and people will love. And it's also so economical because of the prices of hamburger right now. I found some very good deals. And we want enough for our crowd. So I browned my hamburger meat. I partially browned it. What I did is I already cut up some onions and I added the onions and the mushrooms to my hamburger mixture. So after I brown my meat, I put in my onions, I put in uh, my mushrooms, I added cream of chicken soup. For every pound of ground beef, you add two small cans of cream of chicken soup or one large can. So because of my two pounds, I've got four cans of cream of chicken soup. I put two already in. I'm going to put two more in. As I'm heating up my food, this is one of my favorites. And it's so easy. And today we need as much easy as we can get. So I stir it in. And as soon as it gets steamy hot, then the final step. And that's the sour cream. Now I want to let you know, when you put sour cream in a cooked dish, you don't cook the sour cream. Because if you do, it'll curdle. I want to just blend the sour cream so that it'll become warm and mix, blend perfectly with my hamburger mixture. So we're going to add that in. And I'm putting 16 ounces of sour cream. 8 ounces for every pound. I have two pounds of meat and I'm adding 16 ounces of sour cream. And I wanted to let you know also that I have prepared rice ahead of time. Because we like it over rice, but you can have it over noodles, uh, pasta, any kind of pasta you want. But we prefer rice. Rice is simple. Uh, a rule of thumb, a rule of thumb is that for every part rice, two parts water. So if you buy rice in a box or a bag, then go buy the directions on the bag. But if you buy it in a bulk, remember, for example, one cup of rice, two cups of water. Half a cup of rice, one cup of water. So every time you make rice, double the amount of water to whatever part of rice. So we're going to have it over rice. Okay, as you can hear it, it's bubbling. Once it starts bubbling, it's done. I turn it off. I turn my mixture off. And I add my sour cream. This made this made a lot today. Okay. Now once I've got the sour cream in there, I'm gonna blend it and dinner is ready. Now at the end of our dish, I want to show you what it looks like when it's prepared. This is some the rice that I cooked previously. And I'm going to put it on a small dish so you can just give, get a little look about how it is and what it looks like. And of course you're going to add vegetables or because I like color when I cook. So if I have the white rice and the cream of chicken soup and the mushrooms, I want to add something red or green on the side, a green vegetable, carrots or something like that. So you'll place the rice on your plate. You'll take your hamburger stroganoff mixture. Spoon it over your rice, and then I sprinkle some salt-free seasoning on it for a little color, and I'm just making a small dish. And so, this is what it looks like, and just imagine the red, the green, or the orange vegetable on the side. That's our dish. Thank you again for being with me. I enjoyed it. I hope to see you again. Bye.